Many people in India believe mm -hmm. that the universities in western countries mm -hmm. or most of the faculty of the universities of western countries are open-minded and they are free from religious prejudices. What is your reaction? What is your answer to it? from your personal experience. Mm -hmm. Yes. Well, I've been through the whole Catholic uh, school system mm -hmm. from kindergarten to PhD. Uh, so, I think about that at least I can testify. Now, I would say that the Catholic element in the Catholic education system has practically disappeared. Mm. There, there is nothing Catholic about the Catholic University of Leuven. Indeed, um, in, in many ways it is explicitly non-Catholic. Like for example, in Catholic morality there, is, uh, there are some sins that are really, really marked as, as you know, really very serious. One of them is abortion. The same thing is true in the, in the Brahminical Shastras, by the way. But so, in, in the medical faculty, you know, they, in, uh, in that university as, as well as in, in uh, atheist universities or, uh, or just ideologically non-defined places, they do research into like uh, embryo, um, you know, uh, embryo manipulation, the use of embryos in new medical therapies and so on, things that presuppose abortion. Um, so th that Catholic element is gone. I remember in the around 19. 85, the Pope visited our university. And so the, the, the Vice Chancellor of the university gave a speech addressing the Pope and demanding the right to err. Yeah? The right to be in error. Meaning the right to, you know, on a scientific basis, differ from the teachings of the church. Now, I am all for that. I, I, I think indeed that the scientific mission of a university has to, at some point, make it clash with the Catholic belief system. But while I think that is right, I also realize that that position is not Catholic anymore. You see, so at that time, he was, or he had, or he had still lived through the age when the Catholic Church was all powerful, at least in our society. And um, so he was saying, you know, I demand the right to step out of this belief system. That's what it actually amounted to. And so ever since, you see, this has continued. And so the last vestiges of Catholicism are dying. Uh, here and there, there is a professor who has been, like, uh, parachuted by the Jesuit order or so, who still fights for some, some aspect of, of uh, Catholicism, but overall it is gone, you see. And, and so I can, I can list many anti-Catholic acts by that university. Um, like, for example, lately, some commemoration book was uh, published by the university concerning some uh, well famous professor who had died some time ago. Now, he was a very committed Catholic and he testified in his day that you see he was, uh, he was fired up for, for science, 
because of his Catholic inspiration. And so in his life, uh, his being a Catholic played a very big role. Now, in that commemoration book, you wouldn't find that, you know? They, they ignored that dimension of his life completely, which I think, as a historian, is simply history falsification. And is a very deliberate history falsification because, you know, it's, it's mainly, this reflects mainly the spirit of the generation that has left the church. They still have a grudge against the church. And so they do things like this. A, f a, a later generation will have no memory anymore of, uh, of Catholicism and therefore will not have this anti-Catholic animus anymore. But so that still very much is in the air, uh, where many people with some Catholic past have to sort of prove to themselves and to the world that they have broken with that. Um, in, um, in my society, at least from the vantage point of my generation, uh, the dominant uh, doctrinal uh, tendency in our society is ex catholic <laughs> Now, in future, there will be no reference to Catholicism anymore. Like my children, you know, except for what they have read or so, but they are not socialized into Catholic culture anymore. They're not baptized. Uh, so, you see, of, of me you can still say, as I often hear in India, ah, he's a Catholic. Well, yeah, in, in some formalistic sense I am. I've been baptized, which means I'm going to heaven. You people are going to hell. Then, yeah, 